it's almost an Area 51 kind of a feeling because you can't get in. If you, if you were to go in, you would be arrested. Palisades Del Rey and Surfridge was a community developed beginning in 1921. Today, all of Surfridge is gone and the southern section of Palisades Del Rey is gone. The area has been completely fenced off, so now there's no access whatsoever. What's strange about the development is they've left the streets and they've left the street lights and uh, they left the curbs and sidewalks. And so what you have is this eerie, what a lot of locals call ghost town feeling to the area. The history of the region in 1901, local businessmen developed the area below the bluffs and renamed Port Bayona Playa del Rey. Another new attraction was the trolley cars that were developed, the Pacific Electric Line from downtown LA. On some weekends, over 2,000 tourists would come down to Playa del Rey. 1921, Dickinson and Gillespie, a real estate firm, they developed Palisades del Rey and then Surf Ridge Estates, sort of an upscale community. Obviously, the people were attracted to the beach living and it was the last undeveloped area. The area was actually uh, was built with sensible restrictions to certain races. Essentially, Surfridge was an all-white community. In essence, if you weren't a wasp, you were not going to buy a home or, or build a home. The area was built as an enclave absolutely on purpose. The attraction was kind of the seclusion, specifically designed for the uh, hoi polloi at the time. These were mansions and quite a few famous people, including Cecil B. DeMille, lived in one of those mansions. Palisades Del Rey and Surfridge begins to, to be developed in earnest, and virtually all the lots are, are built. While that's happening, Mines Field is renamed MLAX, Los Angeles International Airport. Beginning in 1959, with the aircraft taking off and the, the, the loud jet noise, it becomes an issue. The actual takeoff and landing was directly over Surfridge and the sound becomes deafening. In the late 60s, the area is uh, taken over by LAX. The land is declared eminent domain and their homes are removed. There are two rounds of forced condemnation. Either eight or 900 homes were, were demolished and the area is completely uh, torn down by about 1972. I get asked the question a lot, why won't LAX allow people access to the, what is commonly called the surfage area? Closing Sandpiper, which was the only street that would take you over the dunes down to Vista del Mar, I think was a little extreme. After 9-11 they closed that because they were afraid that someone could get in there with a portable rocket launcher and shoot down an airplane. There's been a lot of solutions thrown around, including putting a golf course there, but unfortunately uh, there are no plans for the surfage in the Palisades del Rey area.